Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meg McLeod. Here's a quick look at some of our stories tonight. Alcohol sales approved at Saginaw Valley State University sporting events. SBSU will start selling alcohol on a trial basis at select home sporting events this school year. No exact dates or times have been announced. The decision was made after Michigan legislation was signed in July, permitting public universities to sell alcohol at athletic facilities. Stay with TV5 for updates. Mid-Michigan's first Chick-fil-A is set to open this week on Thursday. It's on Miller Road near I-75 in Flint Township. The Chick-fil-A is owned and operated by Genesee County native Greg McKay. He says police and township officials came up with a plan to ease traffic into the restaurant. Customers are asked to enter and exit from Austin's Parkway. When leaving the Chick-fil-A, head north to Hogarth Avenue. And at the stop sign, turn left for I-75 and Corona Road or turn right right for Ballinger Highway. A Flint man finally coming home after dying 79 years ago in World War II. Army Staff Sergeant Max W. Thurston was 19 when he was killed in November 1944 in Germany. His body wasn't recovered at the time, and when it was, it was unidentifiable. His unidentified remains were buried in Belgium before they were sent to a lab two years ago for identification. The effort was successful, and Thurston will be buried in Holly. And now here's Chris with your forecast. We've got some rain showers passing through tonight. These showers are not terribly heavy, but they are a nuisance for your evening plans. We do expect these showers to eventually fizzle out later this week, but we'll likely have a few chances to go before we get there. It's all thanks to an area of low pressure that's to our west that will be spinning through Wisconsin and Minnesota tonight. It will take a dive towards Chicago as we head through the next couple of days and then eventually push off to the east. But until it does, we're stuck under the showers. Now, those showers will be helped out, or excuse me, uh, will be working against an easterly wind that will prevent most of them from becoming downpours. I do think it's possible that at least on Tuesday, we may have a little bit more moisture available when our winds turn more southeasterly. But otherwise, I think severe weather is not on the table and these showers should mostly be on the lighter side. Your uh, forecast for rainfall the next couple of days will go all the way through Friday. Most of the area picking up less than a quarter of an inch over the course of those four days. I think if you're around the Tri-Cities, Mount Pleasant, and even the central part of the thumb, a quarter inch to a half inch seems like a reasonable range. Those a little bit farther to the north likely won't see as much. Your low temperatures tonight will be in the 50s. Tomorrow, I think we're looking at 60s with clouds and showers hanging around most of the day, though it won't be an all-day rain in any one spot. And then your TV5 First Alert 7-day forecast shows another beautiful weekend is ahead. Temperatures in the 70s over the weekend, near 80 early next week. Remember to tune into WNEM TV5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.